I'm Natasha and I'm here from P2I demonstrating our hydrophobic nano coating technology. So P2I, what, what is all this stuff you're showing here? Well, I'm going to start with the tissue. This is a bit of a party trick for us. Uh, one of these is treated with our nano coating technology and the other one isn't. Now, the coating is a thousand times thinner than a human hair, so actually you can't see a difference, you can't feel a difference, but if I put these into the water, you're going to see a very big difference. So our normal tissue is all wet like you'd expect, but on our hydrophobic tissue, the water simply beads up and rolls off. And the way you... So your company, you make a tissue? What do you do? <laughs> we don't make tissues, we make the coating. So working with electronic manufacturers like Motorola and TCL, we apply this technology onto electronic devices. And I'm going to show you why here. So normally when you get your components wet, you can see that the water spreads out on the surface. And in fact, in this point right in here, capillary action is pulling that water into the foam. Now, on our hydrophobic foam, instead of being pulled into the device, the water beads up. So the water molecules are now more interested in themselves than that. And if I give it a little tip, that water will come straight off. Nice, so you would put that inside the phone on the electronics. We would work with brands like Motorola and right at the end of their processing, we would go on just prior to packaging. It's supplied in a plasma chamber, which looks similar to a fridge. And we'll put about 800 phones in there at once and uh, the process goes down to a low pressure and a gas is applied and that goes both on the externals and the internals of the device. So, is your technology on the market or not yet? Absolutely. We launched in um, October 2011 with Motorola and in October 2012 we launched with TCL, so Alcatel One Touch. TCL, what is this? Now this we're very excited about because this is almost our next generation technology. It's got similar hydrophobic benefits to splash proof but it's got a barrier technology. So it's actually physically stopping the water molecules from interacting with the electronics. Okay, so can you show something? That enables us to have had this phone under the water for an hour and 55 minutes now. Oh, sorry, you, you wanted to leave it there even longer. Because... We're just going to leave it in there all night. Yeah. <laughs> and nice. in fact, on our booth at... Is that like a standard Samsung Galaxy S3? This is a standard Samsung so Galaxy you S3. Apply your thing in there? Well, we've applied it... Um, you had to open it up and put it all over inside, right? Well, it's a nano coating, which is about a thousand times thinner than a human hair. So actually, the coating is applied at that low, volume, low pressure as a gas. So it doesn't uh, necessarily need to get opened up. It can, can go in it's throughout. Yeah. Are we talking about gas now? Well, it's, um, somebody explained it to me recently, which I thought was very good. It's almost like it's growing on the surface. So we're forming these very, very, very tiny polymer chains on the surface of the product. But right there, you kind of like spray it onto the phone, or what did you do? No, we put it into one of these plasma chamber machines. So we'll put the phone in there and lower the, the air pressure. So when you apply the gas and put it under a plasma, it's going to grow all those uh, molecules together to form these polymer but what chains. What I don't understand is this is a Galaxy S3, right? Yes. So you put it all over around and that's it? We can do, yes. So when we work with Motorola on the splash-proof technology, then that's actually a really important part of us being able to commercialise the technology because that way we can be right at the end of processing and we don't interfere with their production line, but making us very cost-effective. Right? You modify it. Yeah, so Dunkable for us is still just a technology. We're working with pioneering brands to commercialise the process, making sure that it provides everything that they need at a cost-effective and industrial scale. How much does it cost? It depends on the price of the phone, so it, the cost is normally absorbed directly by the manufacturers, so like the consumer cents, doesn't see. Or what is it? A consumer won't see any increase in cost. Soon enough, all the phones are going to be waterproof. Well, this is actually a water repellent technology, not waterproof. But so, it's underwater right now. <laughs> I know, but waterproof as a, as a definition implies that no water is getting into the device. And actually here, this phone has water inside of it. It's full of water right now. It's full of water right but now. But it's still working. But it's still working.
Okay, I still don't understand, but uh, <laughs> okay, so it's gonna just stay there for years. And that's yeah. What happens or only for a certain amount of time, and then it gets freer. Well, actually, what's gonna happen first is that the phone battery will run out, and we'll need to take it out. <laughs> but the technology just stays, no matter if you scratch the surface. Well, one of the reasons why we apply it in this plasma chamber is to get that bond with the surface. So it forms a covalent bond, so permanently applied to the surface. Is it patented technology? Are you the only ones doing this? We have 56 patent families protecting our patent portfolio. And we actually originated as a part of the Ministry of Defence to protect soldiers' clothing from chemical attack. Which ministry? The UK Ministry of Defence. Okay. Yeah. So soldiers are protected by your technology? Absolutely. And now you're applying this to films? Yes, and we've got other sectors as well. So we work in filtration, life sciences, footwear. In fact, even Timberland and K-Swiss apply this technology onto their shoes. K-Swiss in particular is quite interesting because if you're running a marathon in their shoes, you don't want those footwear to gain any more weight. Can you talk about the revenue or profits? Uh, Not me personally, I can't, but um, I do have other people here today who could. Uh, we're privately, yeah.